name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank all 1,124 subscribers. If you are new to the channel, please help me out by clicking subscribe. By doing so, you support the transfer of knowledge to those who need it most globally. Wanted to note a couple of interesting videos I've had done by some uh, guest stars, um, most notably Harshini Aloth um, as of late. She's done a great job um, with a couple of these. Uh, this how to create an interactive dashboard in Kingston and uh, how to do the integration between AWS Lambda um, and ServiceNow in Kingston are really two awesome videos. Um, also touching on that note, um, if you'd like to be a guest star on the channel, feel free to contact me. There is a video out there that shows you how to get in touch with me. So for today, we're going to talk about how to update a massive amount of records in a list without knowing any sort of scripting or code. And um, this is only available to admins, um, at least from the testing that I've done. I haven't gone through docu documentation to um, look up if there are any specific roles that these UI actions are privy to. So what I did was I created a, uh, a little filter here. Um, anything that's opened by alerts in the last six months. Uh, we'll notice down here we have 239 total records. And you know, sometimes you'll get a task um, maybe by uh, someone in the business unit or support desk and they'll say, you know what, I really need you to update um, all these records for me. And there's a way to do it without actually knowing scripting or coding. And I want to note that if you go in this hamburger menu, you'll see that after you run this filter, you got updated, update selected and update all. If you click on update all, it'll just suffice to say, okay, all 239 records, uh, and it'll ask you here, are you sure you want to get these updated? And we'll say, okay. And now what it's going to do is going to bring me to the form. So this is the incident form. So if I want to change the category, um, or even if I wanted to add notes, like additional comments or something like that, I could do that too. So let's see here. I'm just going to type in, um, uh, let's see your major outage is now over. And sometimes that's what would happen. We'd have a massive amount of tickets and it would be due to a major outage. Maybe I'll change the category to network. I think it was software before. Uh, I'll let you guys, um, refer rewind and refer back to that now I'm gonna click update and it might take a little bit of time um, for this stuff to update so now while we're waiting here for this to update um, we can just move over to the form and the reason why I wanted to show you the form was to say okay you know this is what the form looks like and if you ever want to update something that is not on the form well then what you have to do is you have to, you have to add something to it let's see if these are done oh, transaction still running so let's see, okay, so now the incidents list is loading. And we'll see here our category is now network. Let's go ahead and click in one of these. And let's see if our notes are there. Yeah, there you go, major outage is over. If we want, we could even go to the next one just to confirm. And we've got another one network here. And I've, you know, I feel that that's like a, a huge time saver there, because in the past I've been tasked with you know updating thousands of records um, and it just seems like you know if you have to do a script or, or whatever it is to, to make that happen for this one-time request um, it's a real pain so in order to add um, that one like let's say we wanted to make these active equals false like let's say there were groups out there that you wanted to uh, mark false you, know, you can just add it to the form and that way the next time we go into, and we can go into incident that list here. And let's just close this. I'll have to run that filter again. Um, so at this point, you know, if you wanted to run the filter, excuse me, not here, but in here, let's see here, let's do, load filter. Sorry, my machine is running a little bit slow today. Now we'll see here we have these 239 show up. So I've just added active 
oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to go to that form too quickly. Active is on the form as we saw down there. But the main thing is that if we wanted to now make all these inactive, uh, what we would do is just click on update all and walk through the same process basically. So that would be uh, the way to do it. So you have to have it on the form is the key to that. So I hope that helps you out in updating your records. I know that data um, can be a major issue um, in the ServiceNow community and there are always lots of questions about how to make updates to records and mass. So uh, this is a good way to do it if they already exist in the system. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.